All right, what's up Fender Blender customers? This is Fossil Fool coming at you from Rock the Bike. And right now we're gonna show you how to deal with the torque slip. Torque slip is when the rubber tire moves past the steel roller without actually turning the roller, meaning that there's something hard up against the blade inside the pitcher that's so hard that the blade doesn't wanna move through it. I'm gonna show you an example of that so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is I put some carrots right up against the blade. So this is what it's gonna sound like. You'll hear people trying to pedal, but they can't really pedal. It's really hard and the blade's not moving. There's three things you gotta know. There's um, setting up your bike, which is basically tire pressure and roller pressure. Layering the smoothie properly is really important. And finally, if the torque slip does happen to you, there's the tire jigger move, which is how to get through it once it's already happening. You don't want to be seeing the roller in front or behind the top of the wheel. You want to see it right at the top of the wheel. Give that tire a squeeze. It should feel pretty hard to squeeze, not soft like you can push your fingers in. Grab the tire and try to pull past the roller. It should be pretty hard to do. If it's too easy, you can loosen these nuts and rotate that in a little bit, move the whole thing in with a rotating motion until it feels a little stiffer, tighten the wing nuts again, and then do the test again. Oh man, that's really firm. If you layer the smoothie correctly, you're not gonna have the torque slip issue. And when I say layer the smoothie, all I mean is put something soft at the bottom. Put a banana at the bottom instead of hard materials like ice or big frozen berries. You're gonna to wanna to put the big hard items in last. Some smoothie recipes call for yogurt. That's nice and soft. Frozen blueberries are actually really good for the first layers because they're small. So put some of those frozen blueberries in. Now you've got a pretty good layer of things at the bottom that are easy for that blade to move through. When the blade gets up speed, it can deal with anything. So now we're gonna put some of the harder foods in, right? Got big strawberries that are hard, frozen, and some pineapple chunks, and some ma uh, mango chunks. Things that are larger, that are likely to um, need more blade speed, you put in after that soft layer. And finally, some really cold ice. Ice goes last. Ice has the possibility of freezing against the blade if you put it in first. So you definitely want to put your ice in last. Now you use some liquids. So now I'm just going to give a quick demo. This one we're actually doing the opposite to see if we can cause the torque slip issue to happen and show you the jigger, all right? So I got some hard strawberries. I got some hard mangoes and I got some hard ice at the bottom. Then I've got my blueberries and my banana. This is the opposite. Go ahead and hit it with some pedal power. Here's how you do it, okay? Hey, stop pedaling for a second, okay? I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna just jog this back and forth and then you can keep pedaling. Then you just take your hand and just go up and down. All right, now go for it. All right. Cheers, Brittany. Cheers. Pretty good. Got to do a quick plug for citrus. If you're making smoothies and you want them to be popular at your events, don't forget lime, lemon, Meyer lemon, anything with that punchy, tangy flavor is going to make people come back for seconds.